Make my wish come true. Baby, all I want for Christmas is you. You, baby. What's up, guys? It's Erica back again with another video. This time I'm bringing you guys the Aztec clay mask that is highly recommended by many, many, many naturals here on YouTube. I've actually used this hair mask before as a face mask and on my hair, so I do have a couple of tips and I'm not new to this. So basically what I've done is I took four teaspoons and put it into my hair mayonnaise plastic bottle because you're not supposed to use metal while mixing this um, mask. So I took four teaspoons and put it into the hair mayonnaise because that's going to moisturize my hair anyway. I added some water and some apple cider vinegar. It's really up to you how much you want to add. And I added some oils because the mask tends to be drying. So I used the African Pride 5 essential oils in my mask. I actually ended up adding more apple cider vinegar and mask mixture later on because this wasn't enough for my hair. I knew it wasn't going to be enough, but my mom was like, how do you know? How do you know? And so I tried it and I should have just listened to myself. So you're going to mix it until it's like, I don't know what kind of texture. You don't want it to be watery because even when it's not watery, it's really messy and drips everywhere. So you kind of want it to be thick but liquidy enough that you can spread it with your hands. You don't want it to be really runny. A couple of benefits of this hair mask is that I use it to clarify my hair. Sometimes I use apple cider vinegar alone, but this hair mask also does that. I also use it to like establish and like define my curls. This clip was supposed to be me showing you my hair before the hair mask, but my mom, who is filming, obviously does not know how to focus a camera, which is very confusing because her dad is a whole photographer, but you know, we move. So I literally just take the mask in my hands and smooth it over my hair in sections. I started in the front, in the back I did like the borders of my hair and then went into the middle and then I just kind of like piled it up into a ponytail so that I could sit on the top of my head what y'all are seeing right now is me just using the ends of the mask and putting it up into the ponytail like I said I'm basically done you just have to make sure every single strand is covered with the mask This is me trying to show y'all what my hair looks like with the mask in it, but my sister, who is filming, also does not know how to focus the camera. And so, we move again. I decided to cover my hair mask with a plastic bag because I have low porosity hair so heat really helps it to like activate everything to make sure it works in my hair because otherwise things just kind of sit on top of it. This is my hair right after I rinsed out the stuff in the shower. This is before I shampooed it, before I put any conditioner in it. I literally just washed out the mask and came out and tried to show y'all, which is why there's like steam on the lens because the shower is literally still going. But I really like how it looks. It's really like clean. I like how the curls look. I feel like it really does job. And this is after I shampooed and after I put conditioner in it to show y'all again my hair, I don't know how to describe my hair to y'all, you know. I feel like it just really looks clean. The curls are trying to come through, but they don't really know what kind of curls they're trying to create. But, you know, they're trying to come through. My color is really popping. I really just feel like this mask helps if my hair is clean, my scalp feels clean. I 10 out of 10 recommend this mask. If y'all want to see me do it on my face, comment down below and I will give you guys a face mask review. Make my wish come true, baby, all I want for Christmas is you, you.
Make my wish come true. Baby, all I want for Christmas.